how to add a logo on wordpress easy tutorial hi guys welcome back today i'm giving you a tutorial on how to add a logo on your wordpress website so let's get started first what you have to do is you guys will open up your wordpress website and you'll land right here on your dashboard while creating a website on wordpress we can also update the logo for our company for our e-commerce platform our business any logo that you have we can actually add it to our official website and that's what i'll show you today how to update the logo it's very easy to do and i'll show you how you can update the logo i will even show you how to create a logo if you're having trouble with the size so let's get into the process once you are on your dashboard on your wordpress website you can see we have all of the different options available and then we have our own website so we have to visit the website i'm gonna open it up from this option right here so this is my website page here and you can see i do not have any logo right now so i will update it in order to add the logo you have to click on customize because we will be customizing the page and editing our website in order to add the logo so here we have our editing option and you can see we have like customizing option we have site theme headers footer background typography buttons layouts and different widgets that i can add to my website so to add the logo you actually have to go to the site identity because logo is a part of a site identity like what the logo of this website is of this business is once you open up the site identity this is where we will be working and this is where we add a logo you can see it has my site title then we have the tagline and then we have logo option given select logo click on this option and it will allow you to select a logo from your uh, library that you have it will show you all of the different you know pictures uh, that you have already updated and uploaded on your website so you just have to upload a logo right here now keep in mind that the dimensions suggested for a logo is 470 by 110 pixel if you do not have a logo what you can do is you can simply go to maybe canva.com i personally create my logos with canva and you can go to canva and create a custom size of 470 and 110 so it will allow you to create a logo of the same height and width that wordpress requires you can create a design and then you can choose from different elements available and create a professional logo so we create different logos you can see i have already created some so this is how you can create logos on canva and then download it once it's downloaded now you will simply go to your wordpress and upload it in order to upload the image, go to upload file, click on select file and it will open up your computer folder for you. For example, I can upload this image, click on open and it will be uploaded. Once the image is uploaded, you will be able to see the pixel size here. You can also edit the image if you want. So click on edit image and it will allow you to edit the logo image that you're uploading. Here I can actually crop it, rotate left rotate right we can select the sizes we can select the dimensions we can edit the url and we can also flip so you can edit a picture uh, very easily and with a lot of different tools on wordpress so if you feel like your logo needs to be cropped or something like that so you can just go ahead and crop from here once it's done of course you can go back and this is where we were edit on image then we have alt text caption and description now if you're adding a logo then i would not suggest adding a description or caption because it will not be shown on the wordpress website a logo is just added in the start of our title but if you want to add an alt text it will actually help you with the seo so what you can do is you can maybe write the name of your website with the logo and it will help you with your seo of the website and it will help you improve it so once it's done you can select the image what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this image right here and we'll just simply select it so i'm gonna select this image for our logo of course again it asks me to crop the image because this is the size of the image and they're asking me if i want to crop it so i can just actually do that quickly 
instead of going to that, you know, whole editing section, we can actually just crop our logo from here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. All right. Once it's done, click on crop image or skip cropping. So I'm going to click on crop and my image will be added on my WordPress website. So you can see this is my logo that I have updated on my WordPress website and will be shown here. The size is pretty big right now. It's just for the purpose of the video so that you can clearly see what the logo looks like. Again, uh, the size that you need is 470 by 110, I think. And you just need to create a logo of that size and then you don't need to crop an image. Just upload it and it will be added right here. This is the position of the logo on WordPress. It will be above your menu and with your search bar right here. So it's going to be a really small logo here. Now we have added a logo. I can again remove it anytime I want. We have the remove option and then we have change logo. Click on change logo and it will again take you to the media library where we can select a logo of 470 by 110 pixels. Now our logo has been updated and this is how you can add a logo of on your WordPress website. If I scroll down, we have another thing which is site icon. So I would actually like to show you guys what is a site icon and what is the difference between a site icon and a logo. So this is my logo and you will be able to see it once you open my website. But we also have a thing known as site icon which is shown in the search bar or in our bookmarks. For instance, you can see we have YouTube, Maps and WordPress and you can actually see their site icon like this small icon of the website. This is what we can update on WordPress. So I will show you how to select an icon. You get the option right here. The pixel must be 512 by 512. Click on it. Again, we will just select the image from our media library. So I'm going to select the same image for my WordPress icon. So we have selected it. I'm going to click on select. And it will be updated as my site icon. And you can see this is what it looks like. My Sway Closer, this is the name for my website. And you can see this site icon right here, which is shown in the bookmarks of a website. So this is a site icon and this is a site logo. Again, I can also remove it or change it if I want. So once the logo is updated, you can just click on save and click on publish to publish your logo on your WordPress website. So for now, I'm just going to go back because my logo has been updated and I'll just save the changes. This is what it looks like. I can also give you a mobile view for this one. This is going to be a mobile view. Then we have a tablet view and you can see the first thing is going to be the logo. Again, the size is pretty big right now. It's just for the purpose of this video so that I can clearly show you what logo looks like. And this is going to be the website. You can see we have like a blog post added. So it's just a test website. And this is what the logo looks like. Now I can also customize other things such as my header, my footer, background, buttons and layouts and menus, widgets, homepage settings, WooCommerce and more. Keep in mind that sometimes the size of the logo and the position of the logo also depends on your theme that you have selected on WordPress. So if you want to change your theme, you can just select from here and change it. I have a very simple theme, the one for free, which is activated. So you can change the theme as well if you want more into your logo. And it also depends on your WordPress plugins. And the more you have updated your WordPress, you will be able to do a lot more with your logo here. But adding a logo is really easy. You can just simply open up your website, click on customize, and then you'll just go to site identity and upload your logo right here or you can also upload an icon on WordPress a website to actually create your site identity and to have an identity for your business or your website on WordPress. This brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on a bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.